And on that note, we cue the music. It's me, Gary, and Nick. Before we get to the new books today, we have to spend a s send a special shout out to one of our faithful YouTube viewers and customers here at the store, Michelle, who had very serious surgery on Monday to the point where it was pretty touch and go. Let's put it that way. I don't want to get into specifics, but on Wednesday, she was here buying her comic books. Yeah. That's a goddamn soldier for you, kids. That's how you do it. That's that's, that's Bill's books. Everybody loves us. Yeah. See, I, she came in, and I thought she was just being mopey like yeah, Ron. We thought she was sad. Here she was uh, <laughs> she recovering from, from some very serious uh, uh, surgical uh, mishaps. Hopefully she she's, yeah, yeah. Hopefully she, she'll yeah, be so feeling better. Hopefully this, this video is dedicated to you and your uh, insistence on coming in to pick up your comic books. And we got people that are in perfect health that won't come and clean out their slots. <laughs> Let's get a new book, shall we? 47 Ron in hardcover. I picked it up. Pretty excited about it. Stan was it heavy? Sakai. It, it uh, was not heavy. No. no. Stan Sakai. Good stuff. Nice. Wonder Woman. Trade. Ca carrying a baby. Yeah, Wonder Woman trade. She's carrying a baby. That's a weird shape. Um, it came. <laughs> it's never going to get old, kids. <laughs> nope. Uh, Abe Sapien. Uh, all new X-Men. I, I just, I'm yeah. Over I'm over it. Yeah, I, the last couple issues of Guardians of the Galaxy have been tied in with the trial of Jean Grey, and I'm like, wow, I don't even need to read these. Yeah, right. Look at the Archies. That's a great cover. Yeah. We just like, order, we always just order the variants on the regular Archies, and they're always awesome. He's like a ginger Elvis. So he's got soul, but no soul. Avengers on the cover, that was good. Avengers on the cover. The, the Crow with apparently uh, Logan's uh, bisexual son on the cover. How about that? Hey. Ryan's pick of the week, Deadpool, with the Norman Rockwell homage. Good for him. Nice Mark Brooks. Yeah, Mark Brooks. He knocks it out. Yeah, Dead World. Hey, look at Dead World. Check that out. How's that for you? It's still Dead World. That's Levitation, Holmes. They're, they're zombies, man. Yeah, Death Sentence. Nick loves Death Sentence. That's the last issue. Oh, you hate to see it. East of West. I still love the book. I do, too. It's good. It's weird, but it's good. The guy in it, the, the angel of death or whatever, he reminds me of the Saint of Killers. Yeah. Quite a bit. Hawkeye, weird issue of Hawkeye. They continue to uh, think outside of the superhero box on that book. And that's why everyone loves it. Yeah. It's one of the few superhero books that I recommend. Anyway. Uh, Indestructible. How about that? Who is this man of stone? Yeah. Invincible. Take a knee. Take a knee. Little Judge Dredd, American Way of Death. How about that? Great. Brought back the uh, Dark Judges in that one. Anyone who's a Judge Dredd, Dredd fan knows that. They, they love the Dark Judges. They do. Justice League 3000. I still don't know what's going on there. Transylvania 6 5000. That's a great movie. Yeah, it is. Neozoic. I didn't think anybody would get that. Nightwing. How about that? Still hasn't even... Uh, they're going to cross that back over into the Forever Evil storyline, uh, I think, when it ends. I think maybe the New 52, basically every book should be interconnected all the time. It should be like an ongoing, line-wide crossover. That's what I think. Isn't Why that, not? Isn't that, the, isn't that the actual definition of continuity? <laughs> yes. Steve Niles, Menton 3, Nosferatu Wars, one-shot. 
amazing. Pick this oh, up. Yeah. This has been an amazing week for comic books. I call it Uber Comic Book Week because like eight good, really, really good books came out. So this is one of them. That one was uh, actually in the Dark Horse Presents. Yeah, so it's a one shot with an open ending for maybe more. Powerpuff Girls. How about that? Garth Ennis' Red Team. I didn't know they were still making this. Yeah, issue, but... I don't think anyone really knew. That's the last issue, though. Oh, feel bad. I mean, I like Garth Ennis sometimes. Uh, SpongeBob. Got to lighten the mood sometimes. Sure, sure. He's sponge-worthy. Um, we got shorted some Star Wars and Star Trek, apparently. Yep. <laughs> However, we got plenty of the Star Wars. You know why? Because it's a stinker. Nobody wants it. We can see why Lucas had problems getting that produced. Yeah, oh my God. I'm a... Unity. Yeah, I, every time I see this, I want to do the Queen Latifah thing. Uh, Walking Dead, speaking All Out Queen War. Queen Latifah. Yes, yeah, speaking of Queen Latifah, there she is. Uh, Walking Dead, All Out War. Wolverine. I had one person today tell me that, or yesterday, say that uh, Wolverine better be picking up pretty oh, soon. Oh, yeah? They're not enjoying it. I don't want to add this, uh, that fine Nubian Queen, Queen Latifah. No, I love Queen She's a strong Latifah. black woman. X is great. X is great. great. Nice and violent. Nice and violent. X Factor. This is a good issue of X Factor. Action packed. Great art. Good stuff. I like it. Not everybody. Not everybody's cup of tea, but I like it. Batgirl. Looks like some kung fu stuff going on there, huh? Something. Yeah. Batman. More zero year. Does Batman ever not have something going on in this book? Could he just like fight be somebody Batman. and that'd be it? Batman Little Gotham. I think that's that's the last issue of that. What? Yeah. Joe's pick of the week, Beast of Burden. One shot. Everyone loves Beast of Stories Burden. of Dogs. Yeah, Black Widow. Is that, that was awesome, is that too. Is Rasputin the Mad Monk? Kind of. Is it? Good guess. Ego, the book about Bill Pappas. Because you're an egocentric rock star, is why. Fantastic Four, look at that. James Robinson and Leonard Kirk. Carl Kiesel. Good team. Fathom. There's a good team on the front of that, too. Uh, FBP, another one of Nick's favorites. Still enjoy that one. Terrible name, though. Terrible name. I like the better one as Collider. Sure. It's easier the Fox. to say. Oh, look, The Shield is there, too. I like The, the Fox and The Shield. Yeah, a lot of different great uh, variant, Disney movie. variant covers on that one. Oh, yeah? What we got? Let's take a look. That's the main one. Easy, you two. There you go. Howard <laughs> shaking. What? Even on an Archie book, he's got to find a... that one. Yeah. Fox is good stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, Justice League of America. Of America. <laughs> they took our jabs. <laughs> Squid Billies is awesome, too, by the way. I'm <laughs> yeah. just saying. Uh, Legends of the Dark Knight, nine ninety nine, dollars 100 page spectacular, nine ninety nine. dollars That's $10 you'll never get back, kids. I mean, buy it until we're out, and then whatever. Liberators. Well. It's just uh, because it's a digital comic first, and instead of oh, printing the separate issues, they print that big, they the oversized. They need to get off it. Issue one of Magnus Robot Fighter, I like this. It's Kung Fu versus Robots. Hmm. Is what I'm saying. I don't find that it's basically, believable. The storyline is basically they live, you know, where, where yeah. and but with Kung Fu and Robots. Okay. Bill's Pick of the Week, Manifest Destiny. Another amazing, amazing book that shows no sign of being anything less than amazing in the oh, future. Yeah. Hop on that bandwagon, people. Yep, regular show, skips. <laughs> um, the Returning. Look at that. I don't even know what that is. but it's a New one, one from Boom. I, okay. I got it at home. I just Jason Starr is good, anyway. Yeah. Revelations is good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like, it. I like Revelations. Paul Jenkins. Umberto Ramos. New Revolutionary War, Motormouth. Again, Mark Brooks covers. I think I know her. Uh, Robocop, Last Stand, the final issue. Robocop. Robocop, like just ultra violent goodness. But being based on the original Frank Miller idea, it shows you that, yeah, he was going crazy earlier in life. Yeah, right, sure. Um, something unprecedented happened at the, at the store this week because there were so many good comics this week. I got two picks of the week. And they're both Stray Bullets. Because Stray that. Bullets is one of my all-time favorite comics. Um, for anybody that likes black and white crime comics, it started in the 90s. And then the last issue came out like 15 years ago or something like that, almost. And then finally, they put out, in the same week, the final issue of the first series and a new number one of six, I think. Excellent. It's right. so good. It does not get any better than Stray Bullets. 
Um, and we got more stray bullets to show you later on that okay. you're going to like. Just in case you didn't have the other 40 hot, issues. Jizzy, uh, thing. Superboy. I don't know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Superior Fights of Spider Man. It's a good cover. That's kind of cool. It's the claw. Superior Spider Man Goblin Nation Part 3. It's a Janet Jackson album, Goblin Nation. Yeah. Um, oh boy. X Files. Is that a Frank Avia cover? That would be of a Of the Frank cigarette Avia smoking cover. man? Uh huh. There you go. Uh, X Force. Um, I don't know if it's good or not, but that cover is not doing it for me. There's something I don't like about it. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I Listen, your mileage may vary. Yeah. I mean, I don't, don't let me stop you from buying it. It just doesn't do anything for me. X-Men Legacy, is that the final issue? It was. I thought it was the final issue a while ago. There's but... there's nine final issues. Yeah. Uh, Zombie Tramp. We go, we're, we're high class here. High class. Sophisticated. Where's my monocle? Uh, Back Issue Magazine. George R. R. Martin. Does he have two middle names? I don't know. Some people. My brother does. Game of Thrones, really? Some people yeah. don't have a middle name. Well, it's why doesn't your brother give one of his middle names to somebody? Because it's that what happens when parents can't decide which one of their relatives they want to name you after. So, uh, Captain America: The Winter Soldier Prelude, Air Boy, Air Boy. Next pick of the week, Captain Marvel. It's really good. It's She's heading for, into space. It's time for your examination. <laughs> um, let's see what else we got here. City, the mind in the machine. How about that? We yep. got two things here. Empty that spot don't... is uh, Coffin Hill and Constantine. Constantine picking up. Yeah. The, the picture of the guy. Looks... Picture, and he's Welsh, so he'll have the accent. It's too bad he's not going to be on a premium channel where he can curse. That's true. It's good casting though. Ghost. Uh, unusually good casting for a TV show. Green Lantern Corps. Grim the World. That looks like a Frank of you. No, that's no. not. No, I'm sorry. It's the last issue of that, too. Uh, Grim Fairy Tales Ascension. Holding the ball. She's cupping it. Yeah, she is cupping the ball, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Grim Fairy Tales Neverland. Anytime we step over the line, Bill, just let us know. We won't stop, but just let us know. I want to know where the line is. The Mercenary Sea. Excellent book. It's good stuff. Oh, it's good stuff. Some people don't like it, though. I don't know why. Well. Because they're wrong. No. You're just wrong. Uh, Mighty Avengers. Look at that. I like that book. Yeah. Except for uh, Captain Marvel, looks like Whitney Houston. Minimum wage, it's supposed well, to be really good. She's, uh, she's called she's Spectrum alive. now. Yeah, Spectrum, whatever. Excellent, excellent book. Monster and Madman. Steve Niles, Damien Worm is the guy's cool name art. that draws it, draws it. And his uh, the art is amazing. And it's issue one of three, I think. Frankenstein meets Jack the Ripper. There you go. What, we all want what that about that that makes you not want to read it? Yeah. And then it's right next to My Little Pony. So you can calm down. The only thing on the rack that's more terrifying than Monster and Madman. The Royals, Masters of War. That's a good book, too. I've heard that it is. Secret Avengers. This is another one of those ones where my weird car taste in cartoony art is like... I really like that cover, and I bet a lot of people don't like that cover. Well, the cover, that's... But he the, did... Uh, he did the Legend of Luther Strode. Ah. But the inside but art. The inside is, art. Is regular, good yeah. old fashioned. I'm just, I took the advantage of the time where they went to a new number one and said, okay, I'm out. I'm out, sure. Six million dollar man. It's going to be at Steel City. Remember the time when he had to plug all those batteries to himself? and Carl's special pick of the week, Sonic Universe. You'll never meet a more diehard. Sonic fan. I'm Diary pretty sure he's got... He's got a tramp stamp of Sonic on his lower back. Ask him about it next time you see him. Gold rings going up and down his legs. Yep. And they don't stop where they should. Sons of Anarchy. New Sons of Anarchy. Now a con an ongoing series. How about that? Dennis's pick of the week. Superman and Wonder Woman. I almost gave him Archie, but I figured that he's yeah. a Superman guy at heart. Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, this is the issue where uh, one of them gets drunk and lays down inside the sewer. That's what happens. Hobos, man. Hobos. That looks like a Riley Rossmo cover almost. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't think it is. No, but, but it's nice. Yeah, it's cool stuff. Trish Out of Water. And again, she's in water on the cover. That's just... This book's called Trish Out of Water and every cover she's in water. Hmm. Maybe it's ironic, like a guy with no left arm calling him lefty. Isn't it ironic? Could be. 
Someone listened to a little too much Lance Moore said. <laughs> sure. Uber. I'll say. The... Aryan Superwoman. So uh, that's... Oh, wait. What do we got here? Oh, boy. Batman unwrapped. Oh, boy. That's how you end up with Damien. When you unwrap. When, when Batman's unwrapped, ladies and gentlemen. So before you get funky, cover your monkey. Um, so that's it for the books. Let's go over here and look at the swag we got. You hate when I do that, don't you? That was just horrible. Yeah. This, the coolest thing we got all week, the Stray Bullets Omnibus reprinting all 41 issues of the series that is a landmark in black and white crime comics, creator-owned, self-published awesomeness. Please buy this. Please buy this. I swear to you, you will not regret it. This is the greatest... Uh, one Was of the greatest series. Sixty of all bucks time. has all forty-one issues. Sixty bucks, forty-one issues. Even if it sucks, you're still getting a deal. And you can sit on it if you can't see over the dashboard. There you go, you work out, it. whatever. That's right. Yeah, that's right. So please buy Stray Bullets. It's awesome. I would not steer you wrong. Well, I would, but only in fun. This I'm not steering you wrong on. Let's look at the sw other swag we got. Look, Batman. Check him out. It's a bank. Keeping you out of his, uh, keeping you out of your, keeping people out of your change. Here's the uh, Superman statue. Every statue looks a little bit more like Henry Cavill. You notice that? Well, this is the Kenneth Roquefort. Sure. And then we got this cool aliens. Is that the? Oh, it's, it's the S H Fig Art one. Oh, is it okay? Because it it's Bandai. It's, it's a pretty, you know. Yeah, it's uh, fifty five ninety nine. Fifty six dollars, and it's it's got all kinds of superposable imported goodness. It's imported. It's imported. Like, That's why whenever you tack on a little bit more, people go, why is that so expensive? Because I said so. It's imported. It's imported. Um, Huntress statue. We got a couple of Huntress fans here at the store. It's nice, too. I had to obviously sure. check them. Sure. I had to check it. <laughs> he went like this to it. Um, and we also got, look, Johnny Quick with Atomica and the Owlman from the DC comic Supervillains. So... That's everything we got this week. So uh, until next week, um, stay nerdy, my friends. And remember, get your previews in. That's right. Get it in.